Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital and today we're gonna to be going through Facebook Advantage Plus campaigns and specifically how to, number one, break down and analyze where that spend is going within Advantage Plus in terms of warm and cold audiences. And then number two, how to restructure your campaigns to effectively you know, redirect that spend how you'd like to um, in terms of warm and cold audiences within Advantage Plus specifically. So let's dive straight in and hopefully this is helpful. So diving straight into it, the two campaigns I want to focus on are specifically these two Advantage Plus campaigns. And just to reference, we're analyzing data in the last 30 days. So if we look at these campaigns on the front end, you know, sitting at just over a seven and a half return on ad spend, just over a nine return on ad spend, these or both of these campaigns look very scalable in terms of the return on ad spend that they're currently sitting on. Now, one thing to note that generally speaking, is a bit of a red flag off the mark is specifically with regards to this frequency metric. So frequency is the number of times that any user within or that is being targeted by that specific campaign has seen the ad from that campaign in that time period. So for example, the users that are being targeted by this specific campaign, on average in the last 30 days have seen our ads 4.37 times, which is quite high. Typically within cold targeting or cold audience or cold campaign specifically, we don't really wanna be sitting on a frequency any higher than you know, a 1.5 to a two. And then anything over a three or frequency of three within cold targeting campaigns, generally speaking is a no-no. So you know, having a frequency of this does kind of raise a red flag. Now, how do we analyze where that spend is going in terms of cold and warm audiences? In this breakdown section up at the top right over here, click on that and then you can break the campaigns down, specifically Advantage Plus campaigns, by audience type. And as you can see here, this now obviously breaks the Advantage Plus campaigns data down into existing customers and new customers. And as you can see over here, number one, the majority of our spend is currently going into existing customers um, and the majority of performance of this campaign is coming from existing customers. So let's say, you know, if, if you if to just expand out here again, if you had to look at this campaign from a, from a top level view, you know, you might think this campaign was really scalable. Then when you increase budgets, yes, you might see a bump in performance, you know, within the first couple of days, but then the campaign would quickly die off after that, you know, because over those first few days, you burned through that existing audience. And now when the campaign expands out to cold audiences or colder audiences, then performance you know, drops off a cliff. So that is the most effective way to, to essentially break down where that spend is going. Um, and just to give you a lot more insight into how the campaign is actually performing. Um, and pretty much the same goes for this Advantage Plus campaign over here as well. Again, majority of that spend is going into existing customers and most of that performance is again coming from existing customers as well. So how do we control this or how, firstly, how do we set this breakdown section up effectively within Advantage Plus? So if you haven't set this up on the back end of your ad account settings, this audience type uh, breakdown won't work. So just to dive into this, um, in order to set this up, go to ad account settings, then just ensure that you've got ad account setup selected up at the top left over here. And then under this section over here, so Advantage Plus, shopping campaigns, you can essentially outline what defines your existing customer segment. So we've personally just added in 180 day purchases, 180 day visitors, and then 90 day add to carts. You could potentially add in, you know, Facebook engages, Instagram engages as well, but that's obviously just completely up to you. So once you've added in those audience segments, then that breakdown will work effectively within the Facebook Ads Manager dashboard itself. Now, once we've identified where that spend is going in terms of new and existing customers, the next step is to adjust our campaigns accordingly. Let's say, for example, uh, this specific campaign over here that we launched, just targeting 100% cold audiences to see how that would, or how performance there would compare to one of these two previous structures. So just to dive into the campaign settings in order to make that possible. So go into your, your campaign settings, scroll down to this section over here where it says existing customer budget cap. So as it mentions in the description over here, set a maximum budget percentage to spend on your existing customers. And in this case, I've set that to 0%. So 0% of the campaign's budget will be set, will be spent 
on those groups of users that I've identified or specified as my existing customer base within the back end of the Facebook ad account settings. So that's everything I wanted to touch on. Hopefully that was valuable. If you found that useful, please hit the like button below. And if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section or sorry, leave them in the comment section and we'll get back to you with any additional information there. And we'll see you in the next one.